We return to in-person instruction next week with enthusiasm. It's going to be a pleasure to see students in the classroom again. At its meeting Wednesday night, the HSC School Board voted to return students to the classroom in grades pre-K through 6 at 100 percent, and for students 7 through 12, a hybrid 50-50 model will be implemented. Acknowledging the planning, collaboration, and student contacts that teachers are facing in this pandemic environment, the Board also approved e-learning Fridays, days on which students will tend to lessons online much as they did last year. Many students, however, will have virtual contact during the day with a teacher or perhaps with multiple teachers. Most will not report to school in person, but every student is unique and teachers will be scheduling online or in-person conferences on a case-by-case -case basis. E-Learning Fridays will be scheduled until the end of the semester and a revised calendar reflecting these Fridays was adopted by the board as well. In my recommendation to the school board, I acknowledged that the positivity rate in Fishers at more than 14 percent is much higher than the threshold for school closures that we set and discussed at the beginning of the school year. But I also illustrated that the attendance data leads us to question the safety value in keeping students away from their classrooms. The number of positive cases among students and staff has actually been greater while they have been out of school than it was when they were in session. The COVID positivity rate remains a crucial metric in determining school openings, but it must be factored with other metrics when making those decisions. We will be monitoring absences in the weeks ahead as we compile more data for decision making. It should also be noted that the desire of students whose choice has been to remain virtual will be honored. We invite them to return to in-person settings, but we also continue to support their virtual learning. Because our students have been away from the classroom for several weeks, I want to remind everyone to remember your masks when you return next Tuesday. I also want to remind everyone of the basic CDC guidelines for a healthy environment. Masks, as I have previously said, social distancing, and frequent hand washing. While our buildings have been continuously cleaned during this time of virtual instruction, it remains very important for all of us to maintain our healthy habits. For all students in grades 7 through 12, we would like nothing more than to see all of you back in the classrooms. I can't make commitments at this time, but I want you to know that we've been entertaining feasible and practical approaches to consider expanding additional opportunities for in-person instruction at these grade levels. As you know, we've been interviewing for a new Chief Equity and Inclusion Officer. After weeks in the search process, we recommended Mrs. Rosalie Nitaki Pettigrew for that position. She was appointed and will begin next Tuesday. A resident of Fishers and parent of two children in the district, she comes with considerable experience in the field of equity. She'll work with the students, staff, and the community toward a more equitable and inclusive school environment for all. I mentioned the school board in previous comments, and I'd like to highlight some significant changes. Board members Sylvia Shepler, Amanda Shera, and Clint Wilson have stepped away from the board. We thank them for their service to HSC, especially Sylvia Shepler, who served on the board for 20 years. Sarah Donspa, Suzanne Thomas, and Sarah Parks Reese were sworn in virtually by Judge Felix and they took their seats on the board. They each begin a four-year term in office. We welcome them to the board and hope to become better acquainted with them in the months ahead and we thank them for the commitment they've made as school board members. As I said at the beginning of this video, we are looking forward to seeing students back in the classrooms. We thank you for your patience and cooperation as we continue to navigate the complexities of this pandemic. I encourage all to reflect on the life of Dr. Martin Luther King, whose legacy is celebrated next Monday. Dr. King may have had an inkling of the challenges teachers and students of all ages face in this information age today. He said, education must enable one to sift and weigh evidence to discern the true from the false 
the real from the unreal, and the facts from the fiction. Stay safe and enjoy in good health what for many of you will be a three-day weekend.